this video, we'll take a look at how to create a, a Latex project using an Excel file. So let me go ahead and select New Project, uh, which brings up the New Project dialog. We'll choose a profile. The profile that we are interested in is the Complex Systems profile, because that's where the Excel module happens to be located. And then I'll click on Next to bring up the next stage of the New Project dialog. I'm going to call this project the Activity Project, and we'll choose the module type. Uh, the one we are interested in is the Excel spreadsheet. We can choose the input sources, whether it's XLSX file or the older Microsoft XLS format, where we have an XLSX file that I'm interested in, so I navigate to my XLSX file and simply add the file here. If I go into Options, I then see that Latex can load in Excel files in two different formats. One's called the column format, and the second one is the matrix format. If you select the matrix format, then you can load in the MIT format, or you can simply have your Excel spreadsheet set already set up in the form of a DSM or a matrix, and you specify where the, where the, the matrix is located inside the spreadsheet. For this video, we'll stay with the column format because it's a, uh, it's a simpler uh, format to use, as well as when if you're loading large amounts of data, you'll find that column format is much more effective. So let's take a look at what a column format uh, Excel spreadsheet looks like. So here is an Excel spreadsheet. It has two tabs. One's called the definition tab and the other is called the dependency tab. The definitions tab lists all the atoms or the elements of the, uh, uh, of the DSM. So in this particular case, you can see there is an element called define competitive requirement, define new market requirements, define upgrade requirements. These are all atoms. You can also specify what their atom kinds are, and I happen to call them requirements, design, analysis. And you have the option to specify any number of properties on any of these atoms. So there is an atom called, a, a, a property called duration, and so I call it property duration, and I specify what the value of the duration is. In fact, you could have a property called cost, and you would simply say property cost, and that would become a property on each of those atoms. Similarly, we can go to the dependencies tab, and the dependencies tab is interesting. You can see that the first column says source atom, the second column says the target atom. So this says that there is a dependency from the source atom on the target atom. In the, for instance, if you look at the first row, that tells us that determined compatibility task depends on the defined upgrade requirements task. And you can also specify what the strength of that dependency is. And you can see again, uh, that's a number uh, that you can specify to whatever strength you choose to give it. You can also specify dependency kind. In this case, some of these dependencies are specification dependencies and other are, others are analysis dependencies. Again, it's a string that you specify for your project as to what you want it to be. Otherwise, it'll be a default dependency kind. And then just like atoms have properties, uh, you can have dependencies have properties. So there is a property we defined here called a risk property. And so we call it in the column, head, column header should say dependency property, and then the name of the property, which happens to be risk and then you specify the value of the risk. And then you can have other additional properties as well. So let's go back to Latex. And now what we'll do is we'll create a project. So I've gone ahead and I've created a project. And now let me open a view on that project that I've loaded in. And let's just look at a DSM view. And here it is. Um, so we can see that we have created a DSM from that Excel spreadsheet. The atoms that we had uh, defined in our Excel spreadsheet are now listed here. You can see at the intersection of those cells are the dependencies. If we were to select any of these atoms, uh, you can see that defined competitor requirement is has a property called uh, an atom kind called requirements. If we were to select any of these cells, uh, we can see that this cell has a risk property which is low and a link property, which we also happen to have defined for these properties. Um, and so here it is. We have created a DSM of activities. 
In fact, we can select dollar root and we can apply partitioning and let's just choose as late as possible partitioner. And when I apply it, I have now ordered my tasks in sequence of what needs to be first, second, as well as I've identified where the tasks have cyclic couplings or where iterations could occur. Um, so uh, there is a lot more that you can do with LaTeX. You can define hierarchies. You can group elements together. In fact, you can you could even create uh, you you can even create manual DSMs without going to Excel spreadsheet, but go into a script and then export that project to uh, into an Excel spreadsheet project. So so with this, you are now ready to use LaTeX on your Excel data.